Hello, I'm Kyle Osborne from EntertainmentOrDie.com with your DC Metro Theater Arts Movie Review. And right now, you could go out and see at least three quarters of the movies that have been nominated for Best Picture Oscars. Or you could check out the little Jennifer Lopez movie that's an early contender for the year's worst. You ready, Mom? Pull it out, baby! I got it. And you are? Noah. I'm staying next door with my uncle. And I almost feel creepy taking aim at such a wide target. But The Boy Next Door is a camp classic without the classic. This is true. Within the first 30 seconds of the movie, there were already giggles from the audience, and it just got worse. J-Lo is a teacher separated from her husband, living with her teenage son. And when father and son go on a camping trip, well, J-Lo is left all alone, setting up a night of naughtiness with the 20-year-old dude who moved in next door with his ailing uncle. Yes, we've seen this movie and many just like it before, where everyone does exactly what the book of movie cliches directs them to do, never mind that almost none of the characters' moves bear any resemblance whatsoever to actual real human life behavior. Don't forget that he walked out on And I don't want to be a bully, so I'm not going to pick on Lopez, who gets paid to sing and dance and act, but hardly distinguishes herself in any of those categories lately. That's not what I mean to do. But you know, she did just light the fuse to a stink bomb that's smelling up theaters, and it gets one out of four stars. Meanwhile, Julianne Moore, surely one of the best at the craft, has done a great job in a pretty good movie. Still, Alice tracks a professor who gets early Alzheimer's disease. Now, the more cynical among us would say that this is an obvious Oscar ploy, but Moore infuses the character with authenticity. You really believe her. And the film, to its credit, does educate you on something you might not have thought about too much. It does feel like a TV movie at times, but three out of four stars for the strong performance from Julianne Moore in Still Alice. But if you get a chance, do try to get out there and see Whiplash or Birdman, the Grand Poodle Best Hotel, The Theory of Everything, The Imitation Game, before it's too late. From EntertainmentOrDie.com, Kyle Osborne for DC Metro Theater Arts.